Welcome back to the channel everyone. In today's video we're going to um, go ahead and discuss a topic that I think is a big deal especially for beginner lifters but I also see it uh, creep into myself and I wanted to talk about my experience with the idea of trusting the process right and following a program and trusting that you're going to get where the end goal is whatever that goal may be for yourself. So without further ado, let's hop in. Okay, so what kind of inspired me for this video was actually, I was talking to someone in the gym the other day and also someone else that I was working with uh, brought it up both in the past week. So it really has been weighing on my mind, the idea of trust the process in your program. And I think, in past videos, we've talked about the idea of like each lifter is on this spectrum of uh, being somewhat careful or passive all the way to being a very aggressive lifter who always wants to push things. And naturally, I think as a competitive power lifter, we tend to have some of those aggressive tendencies, which make us feel like if we're not doing something all the time, then we're not getting better. And I see it all the time, and I've made this mi mistake myself, where that aggressiveness has been a detriment to my training or my mindset at a given time. Now, when I'm talking to someone about this, usually we're talking about an injury or some sort of setback that's holding you back from truly pushing your training. And sometimes people are just afraid if they take time off or time off from a specific lift that they're going to lose all of the, the gains that they have with that lift or the powerlifting movement. And a lot of times simply that's not true. And the perspective that I keep in my mind to kind of center myself and allow myself to take that time off when necessary, especially I'm someone, I have a coach, Bill McCarthy, and he takes care of my programming. So there's times where something's up, right? Maybe I have a tweak, an injury, and he has to tell me to lay off a movement and he takes it out of the program. So I have no choice in the matter. Other people might be writing their own programming and it's tempting not to take that out when maybe you should. Now, when you're in that situation where, let's use an example, you cannot deadlift, right? Um, it can be very detrimental to your mindset. You're like, ah, oh, I'm not deadlifting. My deadlift's going to go to zero, right? I'm gonna lose all that progress from years and years. But you have to remember, lifting is a skill as well, right? So if you're a baseball player, let's say in high school, you know, I maybe played baseball from March all the way through to August, but from August to March, I did not swing a baseball bat, right? And I was a decent baseball player. I was all area, but I was not uh, like high level collegiate baseball player. Right? nor that did I really have the interest to be. But my point is, I did not forget how to swing a bat in those months between August and March. And you have to remember, these movements are the same thing, right? If you're not deadlifting, so what, right? Especially if it's two to three weeks or even a month or two, okay? It's like not swinging a bat for that amount of time. Surely, if you're dedicated, you're going to be doing other things to improve that musculature. So it is going to be okay. And I use that example to center myself that it will be all right. The second thing is trust whoever's writing your programming, right? Like you are going to get where you to where you need to be by meet day. So does it really matter how strong or how weak you are? Um, on any given day in between? No, especially as a competitive power lifter, all that matters is the competition. 
So bring it back to that. And the last thing that I want to mention is just this idea of breaks are all right. We carry a lot of fatigue. Life happens. Um, rely on your past experience, right? At this point, I have nine to 10 years of competitive lifting experience behind me that I can rely on. And if I tweak something or have to call a training session early, or in my specific experience in the past couple of weeks, I got an infection in my leg and I couldn't train for two weeks, right? That's mentally exhausting. But I think to myself, two weeks in the grand scheme of a decade, and if you count my lifting in high school, you know, 15 years is not a big deal. I'm not going to forget how to train. And by the time my next competition rolls around, I will be ready. So hopefully those are some things to uh, think about for you all. And maybe you can use those concepts to center yourself whenever you're feeling like you are not trusting the process or you're tempted to go off program uh, during an injury. So thank you all for li listening. If you like this content, please like and subscribe. Comment down below if you have any questions, and I'll see you in the next one.